Hey everybody, I am a little distracted this morning because there's a lot more information about Google Glass out there and I'm pouring over it right now to see what kind of new information is out there. Uh, I'm in the Google Glass Explorer program. I got in through the If I Had Glass campaign and I'm on kind of a lower rung. I, I'm, I'm down the list a little bit. The people who went into the Explorer program at Google I.O. last year are now getting emails saying Glass is coming, we're producing them, they're coming off the line and you'll be getting them soon. Uh, so I didn't get that email yet, so I presume I won't be seeing mine for a little while, but I am pretty excited about all the information that just got released about Google Glass. Uh, there's some general information about the specs. For instance, five megapixel camera that takes 720p video. Uh, it connects over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, it the, uh, has 12 gigabytes of flash storage on it. Battery will last one day with typical usage, but uh, if you use like Hangouts on air or Hangouts, it, it may reduce the battery life. And it's compatible with a U, uh, Bluetooth compatible phone. And the My Glass Companion app requires Android 4.0.3 or higher, and My Glass enables GPS and SMS messaging. So if you want to use Glass with GPS, you need to have an Android phone for now. Um, so that's an Im important detail, and maybe uh, I should consider that as part of my, uh, you know, uh, some of you may know I'm uh, uh, going through a phone dilemma right now, and I'm pretty much pretty sure I'm going to be getting an Android phone very soon. So maybe I'll be getting it sooner. I don't know. Anyway, um, the, fa the FAQ has some information about Google Glass as well, um, about like, you know, one of the questions is, is it okay to scuba dive with glass? And they say, uh, no. <laughs> so they're basically, they're, they're setting people's expectations. They're saying, don't expect the sun and moon and stars from Google Glass. Set your expectations to be reasonable, that it's not the right thing for every moment in time, it's not the right thing for everybody, and it's not right for, for every scenario like scuba diving for instance and that's that's an important thing to put out there and that's in the FAQ. I'll put a link in the description of this video to all this information that I'm finding online. There's also a lot of information about the Google Glass, the, the, the API that comes along with Google Glass, um, the Mirror API. So essentially from what I'm gathering from, from the information that I'm reading is that there is uh, the, the Mirror API server and your Google Glass sync to each other back and forth. An application on the web syncs with the Mirror API server, and then your actual device is syncing, syncs indirectly through that. So there's, there's sort of that, that man in the middle there, the Google Glass, uh, the, the Mirror API server. Um, they, they have an example of the sort of cat fax service that sends you an, uh, an, a cat fact every hour, which I presume is a reference to that SMS uh, prank that someone pulled on someone else where it was like, you've subscribed to cat fax, you know, to unsubscribe, do this or whatever. Anyway, funny SMS. Look up cat fax uh, text message. It's funny if you don't know it already. And actually, all of their uh, user stories involve pets of some sort. And there's one that says, add a cat to that, how to put a composite cat on an image and send it back to the user and let the user share that. And it sort of lays out how the, uh, an application like that would work. And then there's one that shows nearby pet stores. I, uh, I think that's important. I think that the location part is very, it would make a, a really cool glass uh, applications. If I were to brainstorm applications for glass, I would focus on location services because there are some things that you, know, if you're walking around, presumably a glass is a great way to walk around without having to look at your phone or, you know, I now ignore my phone when it vibrates because it's usually just an email or something I don't really care about. But if you're walking around and it knows your location, it could tell you some infor interesting information about where you are and you don't have to get pulled out by, you know, look down at your phone, which I think is great. There is a site called Untapped New York that I like a lot that has a lot of facts about what's going around in New York City, like things you don't know about that are, are historical, let's say, or uh, weird New York, which is just interesting facts about a particular building. I would love to know those facts as I'm wandering around New York City, so I would love to see a location-based service that gives me those facts. I think that would be really cool, another possible uh, application of the Mirror API. So I'm wondering if you have any ideas, if you were a developer, what would you develop for Google Glass? Leave a comment below, uh, let me know, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'll have another video for tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.